Hello, everyone, and welcome back for another episode of Magic 2014. I am here with Rob and, of course, Zero Doxy for another round of dueling. How's everybody doing? Doing good. Take Yay. three. Take How's three. How's the keeper? Take three Doxies. Because there's zero Take Doxy. Take three's a keeper. She's like, see, she's like, uh -huh. so she's like a, she's like a coding joke. You know, uh, in coding, they make this joke all the time. Well, it's not really a joke because, I mean, you start at zero in coding. Uh, but, you know, they make the joke of, like, starting at room zero or something sometimes, if you ever see that, you know. Yeah, you start at also, zero, zero on the X, Y axis is what you mean, right? Um, well, you just start at zero when you're counting in general integers, like, in, in coding. Ooh. Oh, this is the deck that I have. Well, I started at the bottom, and now I'm here, so if that yeah, helps any. started from the bottom, now the whole damn team's here. I mean, the so, whole damn team, yeah. Yeah, the whole... It's not made up a whole bunch of the us, The team but who made still. Damned, which is a pretty good game. Um, I like it a lot. Do enjoy me some Damned, for sure. Yeah. I should go back and play... It's that's terrifying. The game is the Blood fun. Man in the Dark, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he's a cool dude. I like Blood Man. It's a gamey game. I was he's watching... scary. I was watching some horror movie... Oh, that's what I was watching. I was watching... Okay, so I saw this fucking thing on reddit <laughs> of the, it was in r slash movies and it's like oh here's the 13 most disturbing films you'll ever see and it's like oh, okay fine. that sounds cool yeah sure i'll watch a fucking disturbing movie so uh, the, i look at um roman polanski's uh fucking repulsion repulsion is what it's called okay supposedly one of the 13 most disturbing films ever they show a picture in the in the in the thing of uh, of a girl walking through a hallway, and the hallway has just a bunch of arms coming out of it, right? And it's like, Whoa, oh, that disturbing. Looks, that looks, yeah, that looks very disturbing. Okay, I think that sounds like they they have disturbed me fully. Good work. So I go and watch <laughs> the fucking movie. That scene doesn't come up until the very fucking end. The whole movie is her just like not doing anything. The movie sucked. I thought it was garbage, like really <laughs> awful. And I'm, I'm sorry, like I'm, I'm fine with artsy movies. Artsy movies are cool. That was just bad. That was just it wasn't good, pretty much. Like it was, it was a tired concept that was like blown out of the hyperbolic extremes of what it could be and it was just boring so the hyperbolic hyper chamber i hear you yeah, have you uh, exactly. watched jacob's ladder by chance because that was a pretty freaking cool movie i did with uh, tim robbins right yeah i think so yeah yeah that's a good movie it's, it's, it's an good. older one definitely a bit on the disturbing side and uh, i'm trying to think of what other ones were definitely freaky oh, i mean cube I of course you, i think I most everybody's some, seen cube by now i love the cube you guys want to know some real disturbing movies? There's a lot of real disturbing Oh, actually, you want to know the most disturbing movie you'll ever watch? Yes. What is it? Holy Mountain by Alejandro Hodorowski. That okay. movie. I don't think I've is... ever heard of that. Yeah, you probably haven't. Oh, Ranker's so good. Um, I'm a fan. Yeah. But, um. Oh, I'm a. Oh, no, I'm not a butt. No, I am a butt. Total butt. Lord of Butts. That's what I am. That's okay. I got um, the deer card. Yeah, I got the, the deer man. But, uh, anyway, Holy Mountain. Basically, uh, Alejandro Hodorowski is a Mexican filmmaker who was born in Chile, but is actually Russian. I remember that just because it's so complex. And then uh, <laughs> he he basically he started make, he became I think I think what he called himself was a chaos priest, and or something like that. And oh god, I have Skype notifications on. Let me turn those off. Um, and uh, and so he uh, made a made a butt butt movie movie about butts. Didn't make a movie about butts. It was a different thing. <laughs> So I've never heard of that classification. It's usually like triple X porn. Yeah, like yeah. Never just butt movie. Well, okay. So it's it's like it's it's really hard to explain his films because they are about something, but they make no sense and they're visually interesting and also disturbing. So okay, I don't know. if you like want, the if cell, the, I would highly suggest watching because it's actually it's actually a very good movie. I like Holy Mountain a lot, um, but it's fucking crazy. Like, okay, because so... I enjoy this the psychedelic craziness of the movies like The Cell, where it's like kind of surreal, but then it's also horror at the same time. If you can put those together, I'm usually happy. 
It's so Holy Mountain is more about it, it's more talking about religion, sort of. To give you an idea of the opening scene of the movie, the movie opens with Jesus in a diaper, laying in uh, a uh, like just laying in the dirt, and then he pisses himself. He pees on his on his diaper, and, and I think he also poops. And then, um, and he, this is the actor actually doing this too. And then a a multiple amputee midget comes over and gives him some cigarettes. And then okay. subsequent to that, what happens is uh, what is this doing? Oh, you just hit me with a thing. Um, uh -huh. Subsequent to that, what happens is uh, there is a recreation of the Spanish conquest of the New World played out by toads that explode. Sounds a little bit like that kind of performance art from the 60s and 70s that was trying really hard. Yeah, it sounds like it sounds like the movie from The Ring. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, kind of, of, yeah. yeah. Like that kind With of the bit. ladder and then shit's just on fire for yeah. some reason. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's kind of kind of like that a bit. A little bit a little bit like that. Are you sure um, you're not talking about the grifter, Rob? I'm not talking about the grifter. <laughs> Not at all. The, you, you guys should watch Holy Mountain. It's crazy. It's like super duper crazy. I could show you the trailer for it, and I it's it's probably the craziest movie you'll ever see. It's it's quite disturbing. There's one point where uh, they dildo a mechanical vagina. That's interesting. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's okay. pretty normal, really. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like I think at I mean, one point one of the actors it. one of the actors is like. Yes, caress my mechanical vagina. And it's, it's like a 10 foot tall. <laughs> it's like a 10 foot tall, like, basically just a metal slot. Doesn't even look like a vagina. Um, <laughs> it's fucking This is weird. kind of how I want to greet you from now on, Rob. Yeah, uh, uh, by giving me a mechanical vagina and caressing it? <laughs> That's, that will be taken out of context, I have a feeling. <laughs> Nobody's oh, going to no. be very confused by that. To caress my mechanical oh, vagina. No. That's totally common. Natural. Caress mechanical vaginas. <laughs> oh, man. About to take seven damage here. I'm not too happy about that. Yeah, that's going to suck. All right, well, I'll just kill that then. How? Oh, um, it has trample. Yeah. My bad. All right, shouldn't have done that. I even looked at the cards, too. I just didn't see the trample part. Yeah, there it is. Oh, I well. thought you meant you were going to kill my guy. I was like, I no, don't no, think no. you can do that. I'm going to kill my guy. Palaka worm! Worm of Palaka. Shit. Wow, I am very outclassed right now. 7-6 <laughs> seven, and a 7-7 seven, seven on nothing. Yep. God, I love the Palaka worm. It's How are you up to 23 health? Holy moly. Yeah, Palaka worm gives you 7 health when it comes into the field. Comes into the field, not onto the field. Of battle. Um, oh, also, actually, this was on that list of the 13 most disturbing movies. This one's really disturbing. I found this when I was like 12 years old. Is um, Oh, actually, this kind of just reminds me of another movie that's kind of disturbing, but it's also just very pretty, is Suspiria. Really good. You should watch that. Um, but really disturbing movie, fucking uh, Cannibal Holocaust. I don't know if you guys ever saw that. I've heard of it. My friends are nuts about that movie. Is that the oh. one that got banned? Is that one of the Italian horror movies? Yeah, well, they actually went went on trial in Italy because it was believed to be snuff that they actually showed Right, right, that it was actually cannibalism. Yeah, I yeah. remember hearing about this. Yeah. They also they also did kill animals in a very very violent way in the movie, which is like mm. really disturbing and fucked up. Yeah, I so. wouldn't watch it because of that. Yeah, it's 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 really fucked. It's a, it's a fucked up. I'm kind of squeamish when I know that there's like actual shit that went down. If it's like simulated, as long as it's not animals, usually I'm okay. Mm -hmm. I have a really hard time with cruelty to animals. I can't handle yeah. it at all. Yeah. At all. Even if it's to make an artistic point, it's like I just can't get past looking at it. It sort of traumatizes me. It makes me angry. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I totally agree. It's a it's a tough thing to get through in that movie, but. Uh, I forgot what I was gonna say. Oh yeah, that movie. Oh yeah, and there's this other this French movie that I forget the name of, but it's really fucking good, really good. It's chronologically backwards. Oh god, what is it called? It's about a rape, and it's 
fucked. It is. Oh, I know exactly what you're talking about. You know what about. I'm talking about? The, the movie that's And I don't remember the name of it either. It's so good. And it's I've horrifying. I've definitely heard of it. It has, like a, it has like a 10 minute rape scene, which is the rape. Yeah. And it's like wow. probably yeah. the most difficult thing that you could ever watch. Because it, it's like a static camera shot, too. And it's just like so fucked. Well, well, that's so yeah. fucked, actually. Yeah, that's, that's, that's that not the kind of terror that I enjoy watching in a movie. That's just sort of like, what is it, exploitation porn type things. Well, no, uh, that, that's... What is it, the hostile? Like, I couldn't get into that. I no, didn't like th- that either. This movie is just people really getting dumb. tortured. Yeah, this movie's not like that, actually. Like, it's it, that, that that's just the really disturbing part of the movie. But the movie... Right. So how the movie works is it's chronologically backwards, so you start with the last scene first and the first scene last. So mm. it, it's sort of, um, you know, it, it's, it shows the whole... Uh, but that people have. I was gonna say that's um, a really awkward spot to put that delay. <laughs> it shows the Sorry. whole. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> shows the whole. Shows the whole. Uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, so so it, it shows you the the aftermath first uh-huh. of of the and it's all based around that specific scene, which happens I think in around the middle of the movie, but it ends. Almost as if it ends on a good note, but it doesn't because, you know, it's chronologically backwards. Everything gets fucked up in the end, but you watch the, right. the fucked up part in the beginning. And you it ends with uh, the, the people involved happy, you know, and it's it's kind of nice. It's it's a it's really it's a really intense film. It's very good, too. Um, so I don't know. Hmm. It is good. It is good. I, I mean, I actually thought, like, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre was a pretty fucked up movie back in the day, but I guess that's not really all that bad anymore. Mm, it's still pretty bad. It's still pretty, like, gory and it's intense. Just, it's, like, so out there in its insanity, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what does this thing do? Intimidate. And I guess it sort of forms sort of an archetypical format that we've adapted to so many other horror genres that I guess you can see a lot of influence from that movie passed on for the next, like, 15 or 20 years worth of films. So there is something, of course, kind of important about that, I suppose. Right. Yeah, It was definitely sure. really, really well done for its time, and it, I think that it definitely... Like, it scared the crap out of me after it was already an old movie, so right. I don't know. I, yeah. I, I think it's really good. Yeah. It was one of those ones where I didn't like the new versions of it ever. I always just preferred the original one. Yeah, yeah well, absolutely. It's real bad. Oh my god, you guys with your rancor, Jesus. The both these. Gotta do something or I'm gonna die. You got rancors. The two Zs. You guys Those would both be dead already if Rob didn't clear the gosh darn board. I know, that's gosh why I did that. <laughs> that is the reason that I did that. Do I have eight or six health? I can't read that number. Uh, you have eight. Okay. It looks like there's a little hole where the edge of the top is, and it looks like it might be a six, but I guess it's an eight. Nine, two, three, plus one. Wow. All right. Well, that's hardcore. That's a little bit intense. I thought I was doing well all of a sudden, but you guys just keep (laughs) pushing right by. (laughs) Uh, I'm too scared to attack, if that makes you feel any better. It does a little bit, yeah. <laughs> so right. you could take me out in one turn. And I may make the play that may be the deciding factor of me winning the game, perhaps. Got a, got another oh, one of these. Oh, no. Yeah. Son Come on, man. Biscuit. Yeah. <laughs> How are we ever going to play the game if you're going to do that every five seconds? I know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, Why did I, I? What a missed opportunity to say "son of a biz nap." <laughs> yeah, there you, you go. There still, you go. still said it. Sorry, Nick. Well, I'm there's saying, me. It would have been more clever. I didn't even get a, like a single play in this whole game. I know. Oh. I'm sorry, Nick. Oh well. Remember, remember last time I was on your show, though. Did yep. you die immediately? <laughs> oh yeah, you died in the first 15 <laughs> minutes, and then we went for another half an hour. <laughs> yeah, that was good. Yeah. That's awful. I hate when that happens. That's pretty much how it went. Yep. It should have like a pong game or asteroids or something for you to play when you're sitting there waiting. <laughs> that would be. Or you nice. should be able to like throw little rocks at the table for the other players, like try and knock their cards over. Or like it has like little buildings that you could break the windows in, or uh, or like a oh, yeah. or like a little golem with a ruby eye that you could tap on and it would fall <laughs> out. That'd be good. Yeah. 
Yeah. Start like a little that. fire, maybe. Uh-huh. Yeah, like click some rocks together. Squash some mm-hmm. melons. That'd be squash nice. Squash some yeah. melons, yeah. Yep, melons maybe I break a melon. window on a house. Like squashing <laughs> melons. If you click a waterfall, a rainbow would come out. Um, it's weird. It's like all these concepts, I feel like we're right on the same page for some reason. <laughs> Really, I just wanted to say squash some melons. <laughs> oh, squash yep, yep. your melons. I'm not going to do that. Don't hold me Wow, mister. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sweet. I got a sapperling. I, wow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see who, uh, who's got the most life here that's going to get them out of this. Yeah. Yeah. Well... Let's just say I she's not in a good place right two now. Of them, really? Yeah, I'm <laughs> fucked. I'm fucked. G G G Allen, yeah, I, I think, am fucked. Yeah, that's a, he's a good singer, G G Allen. Oh geez, Louise. <laughs> you know, uh, once he pooped on a lady at his concert. I, there's a lot worse things that he's done. Yeah, he shoved a banana a up his butt and then pooped the banana out and then threw it into the crowd. Yeah. Yay. There's a lot of poop stuff, G G Allen. That's fun. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I thought he used to cut himself all the time, too. Oh, yeah, he yeah, did do that too. plenty of crazy, crazy things. Yeah. They you know that I wouldn't want is G.G. Allen. Allen's blood on me, because I don't know where that's been. You that's know? A good point, yeah. <laughs> that is an excellent point. Eh. I mean, it, uh, it's fine for shock fine. value, but like when that could be a carrier of very dangerous diseases, I'm not sure I want it around. Mm, yes, it's a fair point. Oh, that's good. I thought I had another main phase. Nope. Too bad. Mm, sometimes the game just gives you one. <laughs> so you gotta you gotta sort of build that into your strategy that sometimes you just get one. You might have uh, you might not have the mana to cast whatever it is. You oh, want you're right. You're right. You're yeah. right. That's exactly what's going on here. Fudge a darn it. Yep. Yeah, fudge Whoa. a darn it indeed. Fudge a darn it in the B. So you could destroy your Rancor, by the way, as one of the permanents, and then I think it comes back to you next turn or something, right? Let's like... try that. Let's try that. What a nice suggestion. Yeah. Rancor he knows he things. wins. It's over. Yeah, it's pretty much over, yeah. It's, yeah, it's I totally much... got my Rancor back. I wish that I would have known that before I... Removed well... two lands. GG. Yeah. Well, you're not dead yet. You still I, got a it turn. It's over, sir. <laughs> it's not. You can still come back. So you can mm. Come back. Come back, city. This is the okay, city that you live in. Do this. All right. See, look, you got two more health. Boom! You're back. Oh, you're up to eleven. That this make all the difference. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm gonna do against that five-two. When you're playing, <laughs> it's <laughs> a pretty big guy. <laughs> uh, he's gonna have to die. It's pretty much the weakest wow. creature I've had all game. Yeah, I'm surprised you didn't just tank it. <laughs> Basically, I got really lucky by drawing two all his dusts, which is which was pretty nice. It's just yeah, it just makes the game so fun. <laughs> <laughs> Shantum Dia is like such a piece of shit in like three player or two player. In four player, it sucks. Because, you know, people just murder you or whatever. But uh, in three-player, it's, uh, it's a monster. It's a monster house. house I forgot. Did we ever do four-player Moldiah or did we do another card or set? Did, I think we, we did, did the black deck, right? Yeah, I think we did four black decks. <laughs> you have, right, and then we decided two? not to do Moldiah because it would just take too long. Yeah, it would take a long time. That was a really good game. I enjoyed that game a lot. Yeah, me too. That was a short one, actually. Uh, yeah, yeah. It wasn't the shortest Relative. game we've had. I'll say that. It wasn't that. the shortest one of the shorter ones, though. Yeah, exactly. My penis is that one. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that, man. Yeah, it's a tough life have, to live. Yeah, you can actually keep that away from my mechanical vagina. Actually. Oh, you don't want me to caress your Rob, mechanical Rob, if you've vagina? ever opened an email, there's pills for that. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point, yeah. That's true. I guarantee they work, because I've gotten that... a lot of emails about it. I'm really glad that email has figured out how to, like, filter out what's spam. 
Like, I don't know what their system is. It's probably very simple. It's probably just like, okay, are they offering to give him a larger penis? Okay, it's probably spam. <laughs> just put that one in the spam one. <laughs> it has penis. It's just gonna title. really suck when one day some some scientist does yeah, right? find out a way <laughs> to make everybody's penises bigger mm -hmm. it's the boy and who cried is wolf. just trying to email people about it because he's socially <laughs> awkward or whatever right 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 yeah. <laughs> he'll never get there. it's like his voice is lost in the wind yep it's, yep it's like a day. fart in the, the wind. and eventually the everyone boy who will have cried bigger dongs. penis mm -hmm. right yeah and he's just what, sitting what there happens with like a when everyone has dong? a huge dong and the women can't accommodate them ever <laughs> Well, then the other scientist comes up with how to make a massive mechanical vagina, and then we caress them. So, oh, yeah, that's how it works. I'm, I'm just imagining eventually, like our entire insides would just become like a vessel for these massive dongs. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a science fiction movie that I should write. <laughs> I agree, one hundred percent. I would watch, I'd watch the it. shit out of that movie. <laughs> Yeah. I'd watch it really well. I don't even understand where it would go, but I'd love to hear you figure it out. Oh it's, god, what would you call part. it? Giant Dongitis, the movie. It wouldn't be Dongzilla. It should be Dongzilla. Oh, Dongnado. Dong That's pretty good. Dongnado, yeah, that'd be good too, yeah. <laughs> this is the is that is actually also the head of NATO, which is just a coincidence in the film really more than anything else. Oh, like D O N G N A T O, it would be yeah. called. Okay. Well, no, 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 no. It's Dong NATO. His, the Dong creates a tornado, but he just coincidentally is also the leading member of NATO as well. It has nothing to do with the rest of the movie. In the fact, Dong it's not even a plot a point. Okay. Yeah, the Dong creates a tornado. Obviously. I mean, is if you have a like Dong that large. Jump roping one day and. <laughs> yeah, that's Dong right. And, and then he takes out New York City, and then they have to take, <laughs> then they have to figure out what to do about this man with his dong. It's like the Hulk story. It's like he can't control his massive dong, but he wants to, and he's trying right. to, but he's just tearing through cities and women, and it's awful, and he's just... It's a, it's a, it's a gift, but it's a curse. So. so instead of, like, his shirt ripping off, it's his pants every single time, and <laughs> yeah, like, I guess he'd just go through lots and lots of those jean shorts. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> you, we could have the scene in, like, New York where, you know, he sees a hot lady in, in like, short shorts, and then he takes out the Empire State Building by accident. Wow. And then, and then the, the... That's a bad day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the Marines get called in, and he's like, no, I didn't mean to. He's just smashing down helicopters and stuff, and, like crushing tanks with his giant massive penis oh i just thought of a great oh tagline God. what seismic activity only size <laughs> spelled s-i-z-e that's pretty good not bad that's pretty yep. good i think we it's funny to... that last episode we also <laughs> ended on a note about talking about dongs that are too big because right, remember we were doing the net that goes in your butt crack to hold on to it mm, yeah, that's right yeah yeah that's a good yeah, point. banana hammocks I... so it's <laughs> It's I just silly say, that we did that twice in a row. It's likely the past like twenty episodes that we've ended on dongs, though. To be honest with <laughs> oh, you. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, it's that's My a, memory we, short. It's a pretty common topic of conversation in the magic series, I'd say. Did we talk about butts today? Um. Oh, we, we've yep. said butts. No, no, yeah, yeah. Holy Mountain was about a movie about butts. Remember? Okay. Right. There right. There we go. Yeah. All right, also, well, I'm glad we at least Holy hit on Mountain. That. Like, seriously, it's crazy. It's really crazy. That'll be your takeaway message. Giant <laughs> dongs, watch Holy Mountain. Watch Holy Mountain. And think about the giant dog movie. You guys can write Create it tornadoes. and submit it. And we'll, uh... caress my mechanical vagina. Right, caress Doxy's right. mechanical vagina. It's important. Um, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. It was fun. Thanks for joining us, Doxy. <laughs> it was a good time. Absolutely. Yeah. Awkward silence is the best, man. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. Do you guys like Craig Ferguson? Do you guys watch Craig Ferguson at all? Yeah. He's there. Right? I, I love Greg Ferguson. Anyway, he does his show, and like whenever a guest is leaving, he gives them two options uh, for what to end on, and that's like an like a fake argument to have or a really long awkward silence. Nice. <laughs> of Brave guests. of him to use up airtime on nothing like that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, it's great. He 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 loves doing because he he's his show starts at like two a.m. So he's like, I don't give a shit. Nobody watches this. <laughs> it's so good. He's the best. I fucking love Greg Ferguson. He's 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 amazing. But um yeah, let's have a nice awkward silence to end the video. No. See you later guys. Bye. <laughs>